Hand off to Lindsay. Left side. He's got a big hole. He takes the defender and he pushes him right into the end zone. You know, the world of athletics is about exceeding expectation. It's about overcoming obstacles. It's about uh, doing the unexpected. Do you believe in miracles? We know all the great lines that have come out of the world of sports. But at the end of the day, it's just fun and games. So we have the experience that, that everybody does. You know, we have, we have our oldest uh, young boy. When our daughter comes around, everything's perfect. And you, you just expect that to continue. That's, that's what happens, right? That's what life is supposed to be. So Jake's born, and everything seems normal like the other two. We can fly into the door, me and my two you know, little ones at this point in time, and, and immediately the severity of what's happening is, is hitting me. There's a doctor sitting there, and all of a sudden they're telling us that there's something wrong. I'm a young man in my 20s, and I'm thinking, what is going on? This isn't supposed to be happening. When he was born, they told us he wouldn't survive the night. And then it wasn't, well, he won't survive the day. When Jacob was born, he was malpositioned, so he had um, four hemorrhages in his brain, and two of them were very large, ones that you're not supposed to survive from. He uh, developed hydrocephalus, cerebral palsy, cortical visual impairment, and um, pervasive development disorder. Those are the big five that I, that I can't, but we could probably come up with 50 diagnoses if we wanted to, and i just like, no, nah, let's leave it with the big five. And from there on, it was just this adventure. What is life going to be like with Jake? And I've always believed that um, love can overcome a lot of things. Jake does get to do so many wonderful things. Um, and this is one thing that we can do to add to his experiences and get him involved. Uh, we were at an event at one point in time, and, and Steve and Cliff were there. And she went running over and said, I want Jake to run the Boulder Boulder. You know. Being the man that Steve and Cliff are, they, they thought it was fantastic. A special needs child, sometimes their world shrinks. She was uh, adamant about that was not going to happen to Jacob. The boulder bowler, all the pageantry and the celebrations and the slip and slides, and then running into Folsom Field of 50,000 people and all the activity and the pageantry and the flags and the bands and everything else, that's, that's Jacob's deal, man, because he's the biggest party animal you're ever going to meet. Jacob's walker will be close to the finish line. I bet we'll hear, Jacob is happy. He says that a lot. Jacob is happy. And I bet he'll scream that as he's crossing the finish line. I just love him so much. And uh, I want him to have as full a life as possible. And I want um, not only for him to celebrate life, but for people to be exposed to what people with disabilities can do, and they should be celebrated as well. And Jake gets to have a little bit of that. You gonna have fun? Ready to run the race? Huh? Jacob has overcome obstacles. He's overcome life and death. He has overcome all of those things uh, to, I think, exhibit real victory. The finest athletes in the world will run across at one point in time. And at one point, Jacob Neil Johnson is going to walk across that line as well. And there's something, something perfect about that.